Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Solitarica. I believe that's how you say it. And that's the free game on Epic's 15 Days of Christmas. We're getting through them um, that's on there today. If you're not aware, basically Epic Game Store usually gives away something free every week. No strings attached. You just got to redeem the game and come across. I think it's quite consumer friendly and you should check it out. Um, and during the Christmas break, they've been doing 15 days straight back to back. So they're only there for a day, but you can claim them for free if you're quick. And this is the one today. Now, this is interesting because for the most part, I, I've known most of the games coming through. I, I don't know this game at all. Uh, 2016 was the time uh, that I saw, so it must have come out a few years back. It seems to be a uh, like a, a deck buildy roguelike sort of dungeon crawler. So we've seen many, many of them, but given 2016, it probably came out right at the beginning of the sort of rush of them. <clears throat> and it's based around, you know, a deck of cards concept. And it's just sort of... Um, hard started basically so that's why we're here in this screen so that's all i know about it um let's have a look and see what it's about if you find it interesting you can check it out yourself all right so uh let me show you the basics how to clear cards to remove them follow number sequences starting with your own card okay so like solitaire perhaps right let me deal you a card for you right okay cool so you gave me a four Tap one to remove. I haven't played Solitaire since I was seven or something. Um, tap one to remove cards that are one more or one less than your number of cards. Okay, so you can walk up or down. So three, two, ace, king, ace. Okay. So you can bicycle around as well, which is good. Now, wouldn't it be fun to make this more tricky? Well, maybe. I don't know. My little brain can't take it half the time. Clear the cards in one go. Oh, uh, dangerous. Careful, you can get stuck. Okay, is that how it's going to... Is it going to be these sort of clearance puzzles? I don't like that. Um, wait. Four, five, six, seven. No, we don't want that. Four, three, four. Yeah, 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 okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good, good. You have the hang of it, yeah. Now, let me give you a full deck of cards. Oh, God, don't do it. Well, this is upsetting. Nothing matches. You need to... Yeah, yeah. okay. So, this is this is solitaire. Now, once again, clear the cards. Eight. Seven. Eight. Um, okay, so that's not going to be super clean. So, I got... Jesus, so many eights. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. All right, give me another card. Let's go. Just it hangs for a long time when you draw the card. <coughs> You'll defeat the armies of stuck. You must train by battling dangerous foes. Okay. But first, let's practice on something a little not so dangerous. Dirt Guppy. We do not use the art of solitaire simply for the fun of clearing away cards, no. Solitaire is a weapon. When you clear the cards, you defeat your enemy. Okay, okay. Um. So I suppose we just rip into it, right? Like king, oh, ace, right. As you will see in a moment, your enemy can fight back. Does he put cards up or something? Every time you get a card, your enemy gets a turn of his own. The dirt guppy is mostly harmless. He will nibble you a bit. Observe. Nibble. Okay. Your enemies do not use the art of solitaire. They wield the horrible power of stuff. That will make it harder to clear the cards and try to break your heart. Okay. Now clobber this pipsqueak before your heart reaches zero. Four, three, four, three, four. He's just going to do damage? Well, they did say that they'd interfere. Well, this is very exciting indeed. I do think you have a chance. That was fun, but there is more than one way to clobber a dirt guppy. Okay, okay. 
Next I'll teach you about card energy. Notice the cards now have colorful and magical glyph. Okay, we're gonna get suits and shit now, are we? In Solitarica, the cards are vessels of great and powerful energies. In this battle, we will use attack energy, which is orange and symbolized by the axe. Okay, this is just normal suits. Every card you draw or remove will grant you energy, which is stored right here. Try it. Gather some attack energy. Okay. Now we will harness the true power of Solitaire. Okay. So this is almost like bloody puzzle quest in a way. In what it's doing to Solitaire. Just between victory and defeat. This spell lets you destroy any front card no matter the number. Try it now. Tap a card to destroy it. Alright. Ace is now to Dirt cup again. Okay, okay. Yeah, look, you're either going to love this or hate this. Uh, I mean, um, I don't want to say hate it, but I don't really care for Solitaire, to be perfectly honest. I think the Dirt Guppy has suffered enough abuse. Jerks. Okay. I mean, look, it's cute. It's well done. It, it's very... It's... Everything about it's right, right? You just have to have a tolerance for Solitaire, of which I, I don't. Dirt Guppy's mum. Look at this, Karen. That's so good. All right. Three, four. Oh, shit. I've got all these different abilities now. Okay. That's kind of cool. Slow. Give three attack. Why would you give me three attack? Um, Queen. Jack. Sister. Pick at the top card of your deck. Oh, that's handy. Nine. No, oh, not, not that handy. Um. Uh, mighty nibble, you mongrel. I look a nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Now, uh, what's this do? Oh, I'm mousing over you. Gain two armor. Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. What's this do? Restore two heart? Oh yeah. Peek at the top of your deck. There's no real point, to be perfectly honest, because I can't... Peek you could use in concert with the attack, for sure. Five. Six. Yeah, so now we would peek. Jack. So we want to keep the ten and nine intact, probably the... Eight as well. Ah. Um. Jack. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Queen, kings and jacks, and queens, nice. Queen, jack, queen, king. Okay. Queen, king. You know, I want to clear that out. Ace. Ace. King. Queen. Jack. Ten. Um, armor. Peak doesn't help. Health doesn't help. Let's go. I guess my mana maxes out at a certain point. 
Or is it just hard mitigating the damage? Oh no, it must be destroying the armor. I get it. It's okay. It's like any any puzzle, um, you know, at its core has the sort of what makes it a puzzle, you know? Is it just pure logic or is it a system or like this? Warrior deck unlock. Yeah. Journey to Stuck. So I guess that was the tutorial. Catalogue of cards. Okay, look at all this. It's pretty bloody cool. All right, let's go. Let's get into it. Warrior. Look, I love this art. This is so lovely. Monk, Paladin, Rogue. Wizard. Are there like different mana types? You can purchase the deck. Bar Barbarian. Primal, Master, Acrobat, Sorcerer. Oh my goodness. How cool is all this? All right, well, I guess we just go as the... Well, you can have uh, upgrades as well. Normix, select your journey. Okay. Champion, take heed. You will be defeated many times on the road to Empress Stuck. I could, I could play this, to be honest. I know I'm being a bit lukewarm on just Solitaire in general, but like what Solitaire represents, the whole reason people have played it since fucking Time Memorial, right? Before video games, you know, when you just use cards and that sort of stuff. You just... It's a time time killer, and this they've put in meta advancement of roguelikes and all. It's actually probably incredibly clever. I know I sound sourpuss like, but I recognise that this is probably going to be a huge fucking tick in the box for a lot of people. Yeah, it's actually a really good example. Not like Night in the Woods, where actually I'm like, <laughs> I mean, if you like that, that's fine. This I'm like, I don't particularly love it, but it's purely personal. I know that for a fact. Everything else about this is actually really, really good. Um, what are we going to do here, bloody? Oh, I have different abilities this time around. I've got the armor. What's this? Health? Oh, okay. So this is... I only restore one health in this deck, I suppose. Damage selected card. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dirt Guppy, you're fucked. So like Solitaire, you could you could get a bad shuffle straight off the start. So I guess as we flip cards, it's giving us mana. Okay, that's actually good. That helps offset the pain of of the like the randomness of Solitaire can create unbeatable scenarios. Blank stare, give two willpower. Oh, thanks, man. Restore a heart, I'll take that. Seven, six, five, four. Um, armor. I'm curious because, like, obviously we have the synergy between peak the card and destroy the front front card sort of thing. I'm curious what synergies turn up in the uh, other decks. That'd be interesting because there's a very basic beginner's synergy. Um, ace. Five. Loves a good blank stare. Do I only have nine health in this deck? It looks like it, doesn't it? Three. All right, hang on. Two. All right. Three and ace. Four, that's good. Okay, let's do that. Two. Three. Two, ace, health, armor, flip. That's good. I'm cur I'm I'm actually curious. We're going to push through, you know, to the boss. It's going to get to a point where it's hard to beat. The deck's not upgraded. I'm curious what they're going to actually give us to stop us, because it's pretty bloody straightforward at the moment. Or, well, that doesn't help that much. I wonder if in that case, you're better off just holding the sword. 
Even, well, I guess we're down to the last four, right? Eight, nine, three, four. So I guess I can sword something like that, and then I might be able to sword that. I could have, could have healed, I guess. Now, does our health restore between rounds, or? Bounty, coins gathered, ace, no. Battle one of 18, holy dooly. Okay. Findlehoven, look at this dude. We can go to the shop. Now this is interesting. Okay. Hold. Oh, you could probably keep it in the shop, I guess. Start battles with plus two attack energy. Damage column of selected front cards two times. Oh. So these are clearly abilities. Are these just upgraded versions of my ability? So if I buy it, will it replace the one? Do you want to buy PS for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, um... Do I have any money left? Three bucks, not really. Items. Active items. Active spells. Only these spells will be available. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're bloody getting somewhere. Let's go. Beard absorbs one spell damage, but can be removed in sequence normally. Okay. Use his ever-growing beard to defend against attacks. Okay. By the beards of Findelhoven. Do we have an extra row this time? Seems like that, doesn't it? Five. We got uh sixes and fours. No. Pointy stick three damage. Get out of here. Jesus. Oh, it's got a turn timer on it. Oh. Uh ten and eight. Nope. Holy dooly. This guy's not fucking around, is he? Two. Ace. Armor. Hair everywhere. Drain defense. Oh, he stole me bloody mana, you fuck. King. Queen. Jack. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Not a bad run there. Health. Peak. Not really that helpful. Random front card becomes bearded. Okay. That seems a bit fucking weird. Two. Three. Oh, four. Fuck this beard off. Oh, wow. It like protected it. Oh, my. Okay. Random front card becomes bearded. Oh, you shit. Jack. Ten. King, Queen, Ace. Okay. Really need to spend something to spend our green mana on a bit more. I oh, know he's bringing the pointy stick. Eight. Two. All right, okay. Got rid of this. So the beard more protects against abilities. More beards will grow. I mean, look, I like his philosophy, to be honest. Take it one step further and make it about mustaches. Card streaks. Oh, yeah, that because of our really awesome run. That thing that we have, like, no control over. Very good. Lord Guppington. 
What's this? Berserk. What's this? Split the longest column into two columns? Yeah, give me that. Eight bucks. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go. Lord Garpington. Yeah. God, I'm softening on my position. I'm, I'm actually... But at the end of the day, if you're having fun, who cares, right? I'm having a lot of fun here. Um, five. Uh, four. Five. Oh, I could have gone three. Fuck. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Not a bad run. Golden cane, one damage. Get out of here, Lord Guppington. All right. Jack. Queen. King. Queen. Holy dooly. Three coin cards become random type. Oh, they're coin. Oh, I see what's going on. Give one random energy. Excruciating gout. What a superpower, giving someone gout. Three. I mean, I guess I could roll the dice on, on that, you know? Hired goon, three damage and two coin cards become a random type, okay. Queen, nut. So all these cards are like coin type, which is interesting. Three coins become random. Okay. King, ace, king, armor. Stop giving me gout, you prick. That's not very friendly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ace, king, ace. Oh. Well, this is problematic, isn't it? That's why you need a card that can destroy things for mana. I wonder if you want it, if you can get it in different suits as well, like not just that orange mana. But I don't know if you can. Uh, here we go. We gathered a whole bunch of coins. Uh, the Meadows of Madness. I recommend stopping for a picnic near a Thrix Warren. Totally safe. Okay, thank you, evil man, that I'm going to kill for non descript reasons. All right, Berserk. Then lose two heart and damage another random front card. Oh, that's cool. Stun enemy for one turn. Oh, yeah. Restore two hearts. Randomize every front card. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think the split that we got is actually super powerful by the sound of it. But um, here we go. Two attack energy, two willpower energy. Give me these. Yeah, so if we go to items, yeah, they're getting equipped in there. Okay, I see. Um, I mean, it probably makes the most sense to get this. And basically... Equip the better heal. Okay, it is more expensive. But it's more economical. What is this? Celestial Hourglass. Um, okay. Okay, let's go. Thorns do one damage when removed, but not when destroyed by spells. All right, a hungry little critter will dazzle you upon 
with crazy moves, so don't let up. Okay. Okay. We're fighting bunny rabbits now. We've upgraded. Oh, we got a different background. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's promising. Trees. Twos and fours. King, queen, jack. Probably eights. The odd one out if we can do our best to stack it. Stunned. That's not good. One front card becomes dazzled. Let's get the dazzled card. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. My abilities are locked out for a turn. Interesting. Noah. Two damage. A little shit. Uh, tens and eights. Ten and eight. Oh, it changed. Okay. Queen. Jack. Ten. Nine. Ten. Jack. Queen. See, clearing a row doesn't really do anything for me. Armor. Heal. So what's this do? Damage column of selected front card two times. Oh. I do like that. It's basically just a jacked version of that one. Five. Six. Oh, don't give me seven. Five, four, three, two, ace, king, queen. Split the longest column. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, but not much we can do here. I could heal. Random front card becomes thorny. Right, so I can zap that for no real penalty. Not. Agility cards become willpower. Okay. Mate, I'm armoured up. You got nothing. Seven, eight. Okay. Seven. So that's going to hurt me to do that. But we've got the armor. We can do it. We've got the technology. Four. Three. Uh, Oh, brutal. Is this how it's going to go, is it? So I estimate most runs are going to end on the last card. We're just going to keep flipping cards and the dude's just going to burn you down. All right, Greedy Gremlin. Can I bail on this run? Is that a... What happens if I end journey? Let's see what happens. Your heart is broken. Okay, well, that's a shame. Never give up. Break the seal. Journey length, 10. 10. Okay, yeah. So we got these meta currencies. 12 from... You know, we, we weren't nearly finished, so... 40 doesn't seem unreasonable to unlock a new deck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Look, like I said, it depends. Some people are sold on Solitaire and like it. I've never really enjoyed Solitaire because you can see the glaring problems with it, how, like, essentially you're just doing admin busy work on the thing. There's not a lot of, like, it's a, it's a, 
you know, if you've got a seven, you either pick a six or an eight. That's as complicated as it gets. You can sort of, I suppose you can see ahead and see where the, the run is. But at the end of the day, if it's shuffled in such a manner, you just can't win. Or, or And that, that's going to manifest in this game as well. You're going to come up to the last card. So it, it goes either one of two ways. You're just going to have to randomly flip 50 cards until you get the right one, or probably be less than that. Or the game's stacking in the background numbers so you don't get frustrated, in which case it's cheating. So th there's, there's definitely some big flaws. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to rain on the parade. I, I actually enjoyed my time with it. And I think people that already uh, are looking for something to, you know, in between, maybe listening to a podcast to fiddle with, watching a TV show, you know, sort of a half committed game. This is probably perfect uh, if you don't already have one of those. I think most people already have something like that in their life. But um, there you go. That's that. This would fill that void if you were looking for a fiddly little game sort of thing. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.